This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create or insert a graph on Microsoft Excel. The video will be more extensive as it goes on. Um, so if it's quite basic to begin with, please stick with me. And you may find what you're looking for as the video um, goes on. So on the Bookkeeping Master, the, my YouTube channel is all about finance and accounting, so the graph that we'll be creating today will be um, finance related. Um, so this is Microsoft Excel. On any graph you have an x-axis and a y-axis, the x-axis um, being the horizontal axis, the y being the vertical axis on a graph. And to create a graph, obviously we need data for the x-axis and the y-axis. So I'm gonna put some data into this sheet now. I'm just merging some cells together, like so. And like I said, because this is finance related, I'm gonna do sales per month and create a graph for sales per month. And just to make this simple, I'll start with January to December. Obviously, the, the year could run with a tax year. And with these cells, I'm just going to format them so they show two digits and a pound symbol or a dollar symbol. So let's put some figures in here. So say we made, turned over 500 pounds that month. 550, 600, 650, 700. Let's put in some figures in. Okay. Now the way we create our graph is to highlight the data. We don't need to highlight these titles, but just to highlight the data. So that's the, the months and the pounds. I need data for the x-axis and the y-axis so months and pounds. At the top here we click insert. Now depending on what Excel you're using, if you're using a newer version like me it will look like this. If you're using an old version it might look slightly different but you should have an insert tab on the ribbon here. And then we have a number of charts that we can insert. In this box here it's even named charts. If you're using an older version of Excel, you may just have a box that says chart. So just click on that. Let's do a line chart. So I click on line. I have a number of options here. Click on line. And you'll see our line chart or line graph appears. We can change the size by going on the side or corners and dragging. Okay, so there's our, our line chart showing our cells month by month. Now there's a few ways we can format this graph. If we click on the graph and at the top it will say chart tools. If you have an older version of Excel and this is not appearing, just right click on the graph and there should be like a format chart button. But if you're using a newer version like most of you probably are, just go to the top here and click layout. There are then a number of ways we can edit this graph. Um, so for example, grid lines. We can put vertical grid lines in if we wanted to, like they've appeared. We can add a title. So we could call these sales 2013 to 2014. We can add titles for the axis, so let's do our horizontal x-axis first. Type in month, and then you can do the same with the y-axis. Let's put in a pound sign or a dollar sign, like that. And you can play around, like you can put trend lines in, um, an exponential trend line. Another trend lines just by using these bars. You know, I could spend a whole video going through each of these tabs, but um, 
you know, just play around in your own time. Obviously, we only have one line on here. We might have a number of data that we want to add on. Um, so to put more data on, obviously, we need more data. Um, so say we have, you know, just for this video, say we have a couple of companies. So this is company one, company one sales. And then we can create some more data down here for company two. So company two. Let's put some sales figures in again. <clears throat> and I'll just put these in. Okay, now the way to add these next sales figures in, so two lots of data onto the graph, is click on the graph. At the top here, click on design. Once again, if you're using an old Excel, right click, click format, and you should be able to find a tab that says select data. And once you click on that, you're into a box like this. So if you look at our graph, series two is red which is this line here okay um, so let's make that series one and the way I'll do that is by click on series two here this is our vertical data this is our horizontal you can see there's all months in here let's click edit on series two and it asks for series names so let's change that to company one click OK and you'll see it's changed to company one now let's get rid of the series one we don't need that so let's remove that click remove and that's been removed from our graph and then this series three let's click edit and call that company two okay so you'll see on our graph now we have a red line for company one a green line for company two there's no green line on the graph because we haven't added the data yet the way to do that is click on company two, click edit. Under the series name, you have series values. Okay, so it's asking you to select the data. So delete everything apart from the equals and then just highlight the data like so. Now, if you have merged the cells like me, you may have to change this around when you merge cells and find data or to take like D18 for example then E29 which isn't right you need to be D18 to D29 click OK let's click OK again if you haven't merged cells then it won't be a problem you won't have to edit anything there and you'll see our green line has appeared we may then have another set of data this time let's not merge any cells so we might have company three now let's just say they make 300 make sure there's 12 there okay once again click on the graph click design click select data this time we've run out of series so let's click add it ask for a series name let's put in company three equals delete everything apart from the equals and then highlight all this data click OK click OK again and there we have it our company 3 is down the bottom here under design tab you also can change colors by clicking these buttons here and under the chart tools that appears when you click on the chart you can change the the style of the writing, the color of the writing and lots of other things but hopefully that's helped, that's how you create a basic graph or chart using Microsoft Excel if you have any questions please just get in touch thank you so much for watching